from Austin. It's a different day, but we're going to do it live, and it's going to be a great night. Now, put away your tray tables and return your seat backs to an upright position, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. It's been 47 hours since we've seen each other. It's the longest time hours. since the dawn of time. Hours. Uh, so how did you enjoy summer vacation? <laughs> I don't even know what I did. I don't uh, even know what happened, man. I don't even know what's going on right now. We're here on a Sunday afternoon uh, because of reasons that we're going to explain later. And, uh, uh, man, I'm, I'm like... I, I've had a like productive day. Now I'm on set and I'm I'm drinking like it's Tuesday and I I have, I have no idea what why it, what it's 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 what like, why it's it's when it's, how <laughs> it's like if <laughs> then that Therefore. it's thou I swear to God this is a Python script. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, a little bit like that chaos of, of going to a convention or being on tour where it's just like, you're like, I guess this is happening now. Uh, uh, I, I've actually, I've gotten to the point now of just, I'm still in the panic moment, but I'm rapidly getting to the acceptance moment of just realizing the travel doesn't stop until it's January. It's oh, September shoot. right now. It's doubly so for you because we head into politics season. So I got to be on the road for, I have another trip also in October. I then also have to probably at least go to two or three different states to cover uh, uh, politics stuff, which I haven't even planned yet. Uh, and then it's the holidays. As soon as election day is over, uh, uh, the holidays start and, and, and now we're, we're off, off to the races. Uh, I went, well, I, I'm, I'm medium pleased that you reminded me of this because there's a parallel because we have, you know, we're moving the store. It's so little things like, I don't know, we had land flattened, a building will arrive tomorrow. Oh, it happens tomorrow. Uh, yes. You have, you have a new facility dropping. Well, while you and I are talking about stories of goblins, spiders, and Bigfoots, there will be a building just being plopped like sim city onto the property nice wow uh that's pretty rad it uh, yeah 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 yes you sound yes. like it's not rad well it is rad so rad i wish i could be there for it <laughs> yes <laughs> instead i'll be talking about goblins sasquatches and yeah. spiders yeah which is also rad i want to make okay very thank clear. you the yes, weird things no, podcast no, no. is a great podcast please check it out weird things, weird things uh, podcast yeah. by the way i i don't know like where the mental switch flipped but i enjoy the weird things podcast more and more every single week it is more and more fun for me the the uh, 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 the the more speculative and wild it in freeform it becomes it's great uh yeah i i love it i love it <laughs> so much i'd like to take it to bed and snuggle it that's how much i love it oh yeah yeah do you love it as much as our first story bryce hey our first story. you would think you would be ready for it okay welcome back brett oh me Okay. So, all right. We also had somebody write in and say, "Why do you yell first topic, Bryce?" When for the audio listeners, they only know the announcer <laughs> saying things. So it's very weird that we're yelling for Bryce, yeah. and yet it's either Brett or last week Bonnie that does the announcing, and so it's confusing to them. And I had to be like, "Oh, I guess it it isn't clear." That we're pointing at Bryce to hit the sounder and, and, and button. Yes. But that also may, may, means that they read it as us bullying the announcer whenever the sounder gets fucked up. Oh. And and Bryce is just going, oh, geez, okay. So, <laughs> so, so that, you are you are you are just this nebbish side character to the to the people that only listen to the show oh. who's 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 reacting to us bullying the announcer. Maybe, maybe that would be when a I'm good, really bullying Bryce. Uh, maybe <laughs> Maybe that would be a good structural shift is if if Brett had the list that we could say, what's the first topic, Brett? And then Brett could establish eye contact with Bryce and and clear his throat and then and then read the topic. And then but that doesn't solve the problem that I just need an extra second to right. hit the button for the sound. Wait, no, no, no it, it would because because because, because I have to because Brett would be able to say, well, the first topic is, you know, and that would give you enough time. Right. 
All right, if you were gonna workshop what what the what the what the intro would be, well, hold on a minute. There's yeah. something first that I want to discuss. Please, I am so happy. welcome back. By the way, welcome Thank back, Brett. I'm so happy that the fans are coming to my defense. Yes, they, I feel protected and yeah. loved. Yeah. And now I might use that capital at another time. So, okay. Uh, thank you. So immediately cash those chips in. Yes. Let's not sit on them. No. Let's not no. let a little bit of long growth. No, happen. this is like no. a gift card. He just every month. Immediately less, scratch less, less, that less, shit less. off yeah. and let's go to let's Barnes go and to, Nobles. Yeah. Let's go to market. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, Brett. Uh, uh, you you had uh, you had a hell of a, a few weeks, huh? It was uh, rough. It was a rough week. Yeah, uh, we we talked about it on a little bit on the show, but we didn't know how much we had license to talk about. But yeah. uh, as as hard as we always try to be funny, I I ain't gonna lie. Like we were sad in our hearts because we knew you were going to funeral. I mean, yeah. it's a, so so. Uh, 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 how, how did it go? How did it go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, it was, you know, the thing is, is in Mexico, they immediately expect the family to be the ones running the funeral. So I, you know, my dad passed away and oh, that nice crack. My dad uh, passed away. And within an hour, I was being reached out to. So we're going to have the funeral at three o'clock today. And I'm like, uh, uh real quick, uh, boo, poop, but. Feathers. Yes. I, I'm just trying to get you away from the sun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. So it was one of those things to where it was like, no. Uh, and they're like, okay, when? We'll do it Wednesday. And so, so that's what happened. And of course, uh, we had to book tickets, fly out there, got stuck in Dallas because we missed the flight. Can, can I ask a, a, a very a, a pedantic question that sure. I, I remember most from my childhood, but I wouldn't even know how it does, how it happens now. But I remember when I was a kid, and whenever there was a death, you would be looking for a thing called a bereavement fair. Yeah. And I don't even know if that's still a thing. There or... still is that thing, but okay. you have to have a death certificate. <laughs> Jesus. Like where? But also it's like that was at a time where it's like, oh, I need a bereavement, uh, a bereavement fair. Let me call my travel agent. Right. And, and the travel agent would know Fred bereavement that yes. like works <laughs> at the FAA or something that yeah. gives you a, a, a ticket. So, so you are, I, I would assume that now prices have gotten really, really cheap in general, like compared to where they used to be. I mean, it, it's yeah. not a ridiculous next day fare like it usually is, but yeah. it was not cheap. I'm well, sure it, it wasn't. Yeah. It, 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 I, I think back in the travel agent days, this is back when all tickets cost $1,000. Yes. And really what it was was a secret cabal of travel agents saying, hey, can you do me a solid and help right. me out? Uh, and now the equivalent of do me a solid is, Hey, could you treat me like a human just for five seconds? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like that's the, that's the and, and deflation. I, checked, I did check on the airline, and the airline, the, oh, we offer this, but here are the hoops you need to jump through, and we're like, okay, great, thanks. So, so yeah. like you need to provide a death certificate as you buy the ticket. No, you can provide it later. Yeah, but that's but you're on the thing. hook, or they're gonna come you know get that long? seventy dollars. So here's the thing: Do you know how long it takes for you to get a death certificate uh, i do it was like six weeks yep. to get a fucking autopsy on my brother yep. it was insane although i will say as from my experience reporting that's normal like like a, a an autopsy even in a situation where there's like you know oh, jesus this is gonna be uh, ah, that's uh, fine let's uh, just uh, yeah, we'll, 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 long story short it. it takes a while yeah yeah autopsy and, and by the way open by toxicology takes uh, a while open by who says it's just like the seinfeld episode I definitely was thinking about that when when I was like, well, I wonder what we can do. So, well, we ended up getting stuck in uh, Dallas and we were looked like we weren't going to make the flight and really I'd set the funeral for one o'clock the next day. And we weren't going to get to Aguas Calientes by that time. So I had a meltdown. OK. And uh, E.K. said, what, well, 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 what, do, what does a Brett meltdown look like? Uh, glasses were flown that way. My oh. phone went that way that's a real meltdown yeah and, that's a hollywood meltdown and you're said, like you're like i hope that nobody has a a cell phone out that is going to post me on public freakouts it was it was mostly quiet except for the throwing of things and i said and the only the worst part of it was i said oh well you know the the we won't be able to get in until after one which is my dad's funeral and i said okay we'll just catch the next one 
is what I said. And then that's when he came, goes, go sit over there. Yeah. I will take care of this. So this is this is you're hearing that you're in a conversation with somebody from the airline or yes. somebody at the gate. At the gate. <laughs> it's like yeah. sarcastic, uh, sarcastic dismissal is the equivalent of like all of the livestock getting nervous before an earthquake yeah. and, and also and this is a tip to anybody that travels and especially to remember when you are in moments of chaos the gate can't help you no unless unless you are talking about changing seats on right. that flight or something like that the gate cannot help you they have no control over everything please just survive that yes. and then find another way that you and can I interact with the airline yeah 10 minutes later and say look i understand that but uh, you know i have feelings yes and right now and i'm sorry that you were part of that but yes and she's like okay let's get you <laughs> so like, like i'm i'm in the process yeah. of trying to survive so so, uh, so we got to, we instead we went to san luis portesi uh, that same an hour later, okay, which is like about a hundred miles from Agos Calientes. All right, so that's and, that's a bit of a yeah. And we rented a car, yep. And because we were trying to like, do we do a taxi? We're not going to do a bus. That's not going to work. Which, by the way, is a very good tactic to uh, subtly let people know that you're deadly serious about your need to get somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there was a case where a hurricane was coming in. And I went to the gate. I was looking at the forecast, and none of the flights had changed. They were still pretending like I would be able to make it back to Austin. But I was, uh, I think it was in Nashville, or no, no, it was Manchester. It was coming in, and I said, uh, hello, I would like to book my, rebook my flight. To where? Anywhere west. Yes. Literally yeah. anywhere west. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and it's like, uh, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, I mean, away. <laughs> like, put I me mean, I'm going to get anywhere. there. Right. And then I'm going to ask that person, can they get me to that city? To south. <laughs> and, and otherwise, anywhere in the other direction that I need to exactly. go. That's pretty yeah, much yeah. it. Yeah. So the, the upside of this is we got to San Luis Portesi and uh, stayed at a nice hotel. I barely remember it. And uh, then we took That's the how car. you know it's nice. We took a little, little felt like a three-cylinder, two-door little car. Tuck, tuck. Yeah, almost like a tuk tuk, and we drove out, and it was a beautiful day, and it was a beautiful trip. So I was able to get my shit together while we drove out there, got to the hotel where my sister was already at, picked her up, we dressed, made it to the thing, and uh, uh, there is a different time structure in Mexico than there is in the United States. <laughs> do they have metric time? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, it's I, I, they have, they I, have I, Mexic I will, I will time, say this so we don't. Uh, uh, lump any kind of specific region or or country into it. I will say this in my travels, America is by far the most punctual country on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> because everywhere that I've gone, holy shit, is everyone just kind of like, eh, yeah. When it gets done. <laughs> yeah, we, we, Europe. South America, Central America. We, we had the the, the maybe Japan. Japan's more uh, Japan's more punctual than we are. Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll 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 throw China in that pile because uh, oh, oh, oh because oh, oh, I'll throw China. <laughs> when you need a product, they say it'll be there at a certain <laughs> time, and it's yeah. not. Uh, so we had the the funeral, and there was singing and lots of religious, and I was the part that wasn't religious, and uh, and thanked them all, and we had a translator, and it was it was really lovely. And then we were going to go do the, the actual burial part. And they go, hey, do you want to grab something to eat? You want to go, you know, oh, I thought, let's get you something to eat. And I go, well, it's supposed to be in 20 minutes that we're driving. And I know I'm right behind the, the hearse. And I'm like, let's just go eat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah. How, well, how yeah, we hadn't eaten. We because, hadn't by eaten the way, day. I'm sure sitting next to you is the guy who's supposed to drive the hearse. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Now, half of the people were in this one little restaurant, and they're like, as we walk up, they're like, hey. And so, okay. And so we we ate a nice meal. And I'm like, really? And and that was when Ray, who was one of the, the pastors there, he goes, time is different here. Yeah. Just relax. And he's like, in fact, we're all here for you. So whenever Aww. you're ready... You just and we go, yeah. And so we went out. That's and, and wonderful because the story started off with it not being on your schedule. No, <laughs> and then it, I know. and then it became on your schedule. Right. And I, so I, I, I honored that. And uh, one of the best things to happen at the funeral, uh, my sister was going is saying, "Well, it's nice that all these pastors are here, but I'd like to see someone who's been directly affected by my dad's ministry." And it ends up there were two families. 
there. Um, and one was a guy who was addicted to drugs and came through the addiction and you know found God and through my dad was directly from because because so, for, for, for folks who don't know you, that oh, that was your dad's did, work. Uh, yeah, my dad did prison ministry and drug he- rehabilitation for. Uh, in a Mexican prison. In Mexican, multiple huh? Mexican. Multiple Mexican prisons. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what did uh, you do? like however fast you speed ran Super Mario Brothers, this is more impressive. Yes, yes. yes. That was commitment. You, you know? hear that, speedrunners? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come, come at Brett. Come at Brett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you don't understand <laughs> the, the Mario Kart that I play. No, that's just a game. <gasps> it's just a game. He had a celebration called Life's Done Well. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. Dude, uh, it's a very long stream. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's very like, long. He's like, they, can't, they can't do it in a weekend. Game's done quick, one weekend. <laughs> Life's done well, decades and decades and decades. And so, in the end, uh, uh, you know, I had to help close everything up and get all his paperwork and go through the will. Be an actual grown-up. That was rough. Uh, uh, and... Uh, I went to his apartment and went through all the stuff, wiped all of his hard drives, <laughs> just like just, just unseen. I don't want to know. Wow. I just want to clear all of this stuff out. And uh, and there was one piece of clothing that I took back. And my dad had this. He he was a data programmer back in the seventies and eighties. Punch cards. Yes. And so Fortran. Uh, so and I used to sit with him doing that but but uh he worked at a place called kirby systems and he had a windbreaker that he had that whole time and it was something that he would always continue to wear and so i got that kirby systems like Mm -hmm. everybody's like do you want it and like i just want that thing and so i'm gonna have that framed and uh that'll be i'm really impressed that that you with no hesitation you wiped all the drives because like uh uh, I, I still have punted on that part of, of grieving for Jay. Yeah. Uh, even though the equipment is now relocated uh, all over the place. Right. Uh, the, the drives sit, you know, as, as if I'm ever going to plug right. them in and poke around. Yeah, I, I don't know. The one thing that I did do was before wiping his drives, I went into his documents and kind of looked through and zipped that all up as one file and uploaded it to my Google Drive. Right. So and, and 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 now you begin the long process of lying to yourself that you'll get around get to it. Into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's so, so wild. Yeah. Uh well, know that you were deeply, deeply missed. And and, I, and our hearts I felt were very with loved you. by y'all, so thank you. Uh, yes, I was like, fuck you, dude. Why are you calling me at the airport to talk to me about this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely talked about that. <laughs> uh 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 so uh, what was it like listening to Bonnie step into your role? Well, We'll talk about that. Okay. We'll talk about that. I mean, can we talk about that in our next, next segment? Topic? Brett? I will activate the next topic sounder now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way to do it. Take eye contact with can I get it? Okay, go, no, go on next topic. Next I topic. I have notes. You have notes. <laughs> oh, God. Should, should we bring Bonnie up for this? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bonnie Brushwood. Bonnie Brushwood. Yay. I, I would just like to say um, I'm not a threat. No. <laughs> nope. Never stepping into that role, but and, go ahead. And you have me, notes. Let me also say, Bonnie, I love you. Oh, I, I'm thank happy you. that you did step in. <laughs> and he has notes. That being uh, yeah. he has yeah. notes. I have and he has notes. Yes. It's time for, also, your, for your quarterly review. Also, yeah. maybe I should explain that I have very low self-esteem. Yeah, sure. You know. <laughs> sure. I will. I will. Uh, I will uh, make that worse. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. You. you know, I'm also married. Although technically, so. they were they were notasitas when he was writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. San Luis notasitas. Okay, we have to refer to that because it's so much cuter. Okay. Yeah. Give me so, your notasitas. Yeah. Notasita. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, your opening Uno poquito great. Good, good, notasito. Good, good effort. Yay. Yeah. Uh, excellent effort. Uh, the second was uh, 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 significant as you were supposed to take. Keep score. Oh, yeah. And I was told, well, <laughs> right. that because two times that I didn't <laughs> take score, but every time after that, suddenly I am the person that never keeps score. I don't know why what? you're looking at Bryce because it was me that started that filthy oh. rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who called out your reputation. <laughs> I specifically said on the show, like, Bonnie, can you? 
keep notes <laughs> just so she doesn't so she doesn't have to worry about it. Okay. She's yeah, she's yeah. doing your right, and you're there. Putting it in quote marks like cuz I was I was taking relief on her. I was keeping tra- mm. I, I, think, back, Brad. I think he was being generous Damn, why did, to me. Why did Bryce just make the Miss Piggy noise? <laughs> and then he goes So uh, uh and always <laughs> When you hear that, that's why a lot of times I put on the headphones because when you hear the noise for next topic, then that way I can I can hit the show. Always do the show topic. I'm a little mm. sad you didn't know that I always do the show topics. Yes. No. Well, you know, I'm sort of here. Brett, are you actively <laughs> trying to train her to replace you? Uh, you yeah. know, I, I always feel that there should always be a succession plan. Always. <laughs> well, we'll do cross just, training. Just ask Charles. <laughs> He's in charge. Yeah, that's right. Charles in charge. Mm-hmm. This is King here. shit. Uh, Did you have any other notes? Um, what else? Well, the only other notes that I had was listening to the green room. I wanted to do the song "My Dick" playing in the background the whole time, or "Detachable Penis" was the <laughs> other one that I wanted. Mm. There was so much dick jokes. I'm sure that that makes sense if you remember the green room, uh, which, which I don't. We yeah, don't. Yeah, Never do. I was just like, wait, we were talking about dick. There was what? a lot. Sounds like us. Sounds like us. It like, does. Yeah. It the does. sexy porno guy with the. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, because it was the audio reader, oh, the porno dude. Voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. winning. Success, of, success advice. And, and, yeah. I, and I also love that Brian, <laughs> that Brian thinks that a porn star would sound good. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. He's not an audio porn guy. He's an actual porn guy. So the yeah. actual porn guy would just be all dick, right? Uh, While an yeah. audio porn guy would sound as sexy as you did. Okay. Uh, Jesus, man, this yeah. all sounds I got, like I a reference happy. to a really yeah, cool show. I should it. listen to it you sometime. Should. You should. You gotta check that show out, The Green Room. That's right. Uh, with, did you have it. any trepidation listening to the show? No, not at all. In your absence? No. Oh. You guys have been doing this show forever without me, so it's not like me stepping out. Uh, it was it, There was a difference, and that also made me happy, too. So. Oh, like, oh, I do I do give something more than just saying words. All right, is that the end of the notes? That's you got more notes? Yep, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Brett, what is the next are topic? Are we a Brett? go or no go for the next topic? It's a go. Okay. <laughs> Justin, Bryce, go no go. Go. Okay. <laughs> go. Bryce, are we a go no go for next topic? We're go for the next topic. Okay. Next topic. Talking trash. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I could settle into this rhythm. This is pretty good. <laughs> Yo, we got a. We uh, I wouldn't say we took a dump. We accepted a dump. Big old fat dump. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. We uh make a little trash around here. You don't need any coy. I already teed we it up. We get a little no, bit no dirty down team. here I know. In Texas. We don't, we don't even, uh, and we're not talking about the shows. We're talking about actual trash. Okay, now you're so. off the field. Uh, look, we got a dumpster. <laughs> There's a dumpster on yeah. property. There's a dumpster on property. Yeah, we got, a, we got a dumpster on property. I mean, it was only like so much wheeling stuff out and leaving a lot behind. Back thinking, to the weeds. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dumpster. Uh, dumpster, it's here. All right. So we got this dumpster. And I'm talking. I, I have some trepidation about dumpsters because, like, I think that for the most part, people are great, but then there's like actual bad people that take advantage of dumpsters, and like, uh, you never really know. Do yes. They, like, wait, I have do a they thing about dumpsters. dumpsters? Oh my like, god, we have a resident like, expert they like over roof here. We, yeah, we, 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 we do. We do actually have a waste management. Uh, yeah, uh, expert they put here. stuff <laughs> in dumpsters. Who is, who is nodding, <laughs> nodding with a gigantic grin on his face as right. if to say, "Yes, indeed, people take advantage of dumpsters." But, but all right. Yeah, Worst so case scenario. A, yeah. Now that you guys are dumpster proprietors, what's a horror show that you walk up on because someone has taken advantage of the dumpster? Well, um, <laughs> there. I, I'm not. This is a comedy show. I'm not going to bring it down with like really disgusting stuff. But I, I mean, just to use your imagination, Why would that bring people, it down? right? <laughs> but, but like, I You're have aware definitely. What comedy show it is? No, right? no, no, I know. So, like, I, I have definitely gone to. I, I used to work. Um, in a studio downtown Austin, and it was on fire. I mean, like literal dumpster fire. And it's just like, okay, uh, these things happen. And I, I'm just like, all right, can I still park my car even though? <laughs> park I mean, I, I park, park, and then, then you got a dumpster on fire, and the, the you're woo woo. I would just choose to park somewhere else. Yeah. Is 
it's well, a good spot. I mean, it was if a good, it's a good it spot, a good spot though, right? what I think you're not thinking spot. of is how good you know a spot it is. Meanwhile, the guy who owns the, Come on. The, the guy who runs the art collective is like, uh, oh, that's inspiration incense. Just yes. bring it in. Bring it in. It's actually an exhibit. So I have some trepidation about bringing a dumpster on. And then, like, Jeff is just like, hey. You know, so Jeff's uh, been helping out with uh, uh, making all this transition happen with the store and right. stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, we got the dumpster. It, it's here. And I was just like, oh, man, we need to get a lock on that dumpster. Because, like, I have a thing about dumpsters. And I'm just like, dumpsters, right? Am I right? And he's just like, yeah, I agree. And I'm like, yeah. And then the next day I see him. And he was just like, oh, I'm still working on that dumpster. And you wouldn't believe it. It's already half full. And I just said, the, uh, by the by the way, when they placed it, we pl we placed it like behind, hidden behind some trees and shit, so it couldn't be visible from the street yes. or even the side road so or how nothing. Quick, uh -huh. I know. And I'm just walking out there. I'm like, how did they even find this shit? Like it's hidden behind here. I mean, it's just like they already know the dumpster. I go, wait a minute. It's got to be one of our neighbors because, like, who else would see it? It's either that guy or that guy. And I'm just like. So you've immediately descended into full paranoia. I, yes. I, you are now, you are now like Charlie Day in the basement. Uh, <laughs> oh, and, 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 I mean, that is not too far yeah, of a yeah. description. Oh, no, I yeah. am like super. For, for the yeah, record, know like, your teammates. Like, like, I, like, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, 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 to give an example of a friend of mine who is very possessive about his dumpster. Now, this is uh, up in Chicago in a business park. Somebody kept dumping his stuff uh, in there, and, and he was like, hey, you got to knock that off. They didn't knock it off. And so what he did was he just ripped open their garbage and just threw it all over the parking lot all over the place and then called the property management company and said, yeah, I don't know what's happening, but there's trash everywhere. And it appears to have this address on it. Click. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. So like, uh -huh. that's a great thing to do to fuel somebody with paranoia, Brian. <laughs> uh, revenge fantasies. Uh, I, I, I see you've been searching for paranoia. Maybe you'd be interested in revenge fantasy. Is that from Flippy? Is Flippy yeah. asking that? And so, and so uh, we go. So I'm marked out there. I'm like, wait a minute. Let's go see this, you know. And then we fling open the like, fling open the dumpster lid, and I go, those are Amazon boxes. I bet they have their address. We can get to the bottom of this. Oh, I love yeah. Sherlock oh, Bonnie. Do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they Sherlock do. Sherlock Bonnie and Dr. Jeff. <laughs> and then so I, did you figure out who it was? Yeah, I pull it out, and it just reads, Justin Robert. A hundred percent true. Oh. She was telling that story, and I remembered... Justin saying he would do that exact thing the other day. Yeah, yeah. and Justin me giving, asking, and me giving said, permission Justin for it. Justin asking specific permission. <laughs> Although I knew that there was a problem of Bruin. <laughs> because when I went to go, so uh, uh, Ashley, uh, uh, in a very, very subtle uh, uh, sign within our marriage that I should take out a bunch of cardboard, threw all the fucking cardboard in the car. <laughs> and just kind of left it there. And so I'm like... That's a good move. Just use your car thing. as a dumpster. Basically. It's like, <laughs> everything's <laughs> fine. Sure. Yeah. So I'm she threw all the right. cardboard She threw all the cardboard in the car, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go take it to the, the place where we jump off cardboard. And then all of a sudden, Brian's very excited about his dumpster. And I'm like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. well, if I cut everything down and I make mm -hmm. it flat, it probably won't even be that much in the dumpster as long as I cut everything and lay it flat. They won't even notice. Uh, here's the problem. I was not the first person to throw shit in that dumpster. Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, oh. In instead, there was a healthy base of not unpacked, just boxes, just full boxes of shit that took up basically 40% of the dumpster capacity by the time that I threw shit in. So I'm like, okay, now I really have to be Tetris man with all of my shit because if I throw stuff well, wait a minute wait, wait, wait. So, 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 so we have like non-crushed boxes yes from the store team yes that are making a base layer of this hate cake yes and then you <laughs> realize that you need to make a very a tiny small layer. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm fitting my shit layer. in the center of the various different boxes and yep. stuff like that oh my god uh, 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 I'm like things that I thought I was going to be able to just to chuck in I'm like no now I have to cut 
everything and I have to fold it when I can. I have to tuck it in the little corners. So it made the icing of the hate cake. Well, yeah, the icing of the nice. hate cake. And yes, indeed, it was the first thing that a sleuthy Bonnie Brush would be, would be able to pull out of <laughs> yeah. the dumpster. But it was not by any means... The largest uh, uh, occupant of that. The, there was oh, no, no, un no, no, no. unopened boxes that and, were at the bottom. And in Jeff's defense, he did say, oh, I did throw in those other boxes, which were completely full. I mean, it's just like, you know, because we have, if you go to scamstuff.com, you can order all sorts of really fabulous products. And and this is... And trash. Boxes of trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> trash. So if you want you the trash, the I can boxes. go dig it out. And, uh, but yeah, so those were those boxes were completely filled. And then, and then I did notice, actually, how conscientiously those... Almost, almost with precision, mm -hmm. those things were like totally flat and laid in. I'm like... Aw, plus their hearts. It's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> but then I was like, did Ashley think you were taking those to recycling? Because that's definitely not recycling. Oh, oh here we go. So we're and don't you have way. a recycling oh, oh, no. Where were we going? <laughs> so it was somewhere Friday night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was like, uh, oh and I was like, uh, uh, hey, who gets credit for getting all this shit? Out of the bag. Oh, no. oh and, God! And she's oh, yeah. like, and she's like, oh yeah, oh, that, that, that's great. And I'm like, oh, it's amazing. Brian has a dumpster oh, now, no. and no. I threw all this shit in the dumpster. Oh uh, no! At which point, uh, uh, she just said, "I wish you hadn't said that." <laughs> <laughs> you made her. You made her accessory after the fact. And then yes. we're talking about like how half of Pakistan is underwater. <laughs> and, <laughs> Climate change. And they need that cardboard. Everything hinged on me fucking driving, burning gas further <laughs> yep. for me to go throw uh, dumpsters <laughs> in a place where we don't know where the fuck these people throw their their cardboard. All right. Uh, in, in the spirit of all of I us I shouldn't being... actually yell because Ashley's actually on property right now. She might come in and uh, <laughs> I, I, lay down the law. In the this spirit where of I can all of us uh, being the victim, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was one bright shining moment in all of this. Which was, hey, bro, got a dumpster. Cool, bro. Can I dump in it? And I said, prima nocta. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> which is the king's uh, right to have king's sex right. with your uh, wife yeah, before yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. And so, and then, and Justin, and, uh, and so I'm feeling very magnanimous and awesome. And then I just get a, by the way, ragged out wife. <laughs> like, like, oh, <laughs> No, not no, very no, prima, no, this no, not no, 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 no. <laughs> My point was to fucking tell you that there were boxes in there because I didn't want to have this situation. So I informed Brian that I was not the fucking only person to throw shit in there. And I go, no, there were boxes in the bottom. So not prima nocta, <laughs> sloppy seconds. Sloppy seconds. I just said sloppy seconds. Oh, okay. oh sorry. Red, no, wife. <laughs> like, what That's what prima nocta is about. It's about fucking your wife. But you're oh, the only God. one doing the... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Bryce, what's the next time? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, are we a go or are, no? Are, are, why are the show is weird. weird. Why the show is weird? Yeah, why are we, why are we doing this on a, on a Sunday? Oh, on a Sunday. oh, okay. Should have been there on a Sunday morning doing great night. <laughs> is that... No time for talking. We ain't got no... Well, we guess we'd have some time. <laughs> I don't want to hear the rest of the song. All right, that's it. No, I'm listening. Uh, well's, well's dry. So, uh, so it's Sunday. It's not Tuesday, turns out. No. no. Why is it not Tuesday? I, th I think we may have told this exact story before, except for then we all got COVID. And then... Uh, and then I don't know do if it. we told it. I think, I, think we kept it, I think we kept it close to the vest. Uh, Tell spoiler us. warning, this may be a repeat, but... After all these years, it finally happened. I got an email from the FBI. Yeah. FBI.gov. Uh, pick up the phone. It's space special agent so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, they are requesting my presence. Uh, I have to travel, and oh. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, Will Graham over here. And uh, it 
turns out that uh, they rather like the program World's Greatest Con and Look would like that. me to give a talk. Hey! hey. So uh, uh, cool. we were all set up to do it back in uh, March, and then uh, COVID happened to all of us. And, uh, and now uh, uh, it turns out there's another opportunity. So we're going uh, to an undisclosed location in the Northeast. Yeah. So, yeah, we are, uh, we're, we're, we're going to be gone through the middle of the week. This all happened fairly, Pretty fairly quickly. Uh, it was, was kind of loosey-goosey, and then all of a sudden it, you know, got locked in. Yeah. So uh, we will be, uh, we'll be gone in, in the middle of the week, including Tuesday. We have to travel Tuesday for the event the next day. So uh, that's why we're doing it. But uh, holy shit, man, the FBI wants to have you talk about your podcast. To, uh, to be honest, it's really a blessing that I had six more months to practice talking about the similarity between magic and cons and so on, because enough programs have asked me to talk about the show where it's like I, I feel like they're legitimately going to get a much, much stronger, better product uh, as a result of, 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 of us having COVID. Are they going to pay you for this? Uh, I don't know. They're certainly going to reimburse <laughs> us for travel expenses. Cool. I, 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 Wait, hold on. Do you want to like step in as our agent against no, the federal well, government? You could, you know. It, 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 These it, boys ain't going on hey, until you pay up. The... Hey, you're the federal government. You got, I know you got a little bit. Some of my taxes go to you. So this, some this, of them. this is pure speculation on my part. But my guess is if you get good enough at giving these type of talks at some point you earn honorariums or whatever sure. but for right now well, it's the way, like, the way, i just want to do it because it's cool the way i know that federal government uh, uh expenditures work is that each agency has a certain line for which they've got kind of infinite coupons that they can kind of hand you stuff if it is above that line then you have to go through seven years of uh, vetting of bureaucratic you know, like uh, it goes from one desk to another desk to another desk, and and they're just right now putting the final stamp on one that started in 1920. Right. So, uh, 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 we're we're gonna get what we what, what we need to get uh, to get there, which is which is great. But uh, it's it's pretty amazing when you know for for all the um, for all the effort that that you put into to that show, like that's that's amazing. Well, and uh, what's what's Fun and surprising are the things you don't really think about because, you know, I start to think in gig mode and I'm like, oh, never trust their equipment. Always bring your equipment, you know, that kind of thing. But then all of a sudden it's like, uh, yeah, I'm talking on the phone. It's like, yeah, no, don't worry. I have the PowerPoint on my computer. And they're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You will not be bringing a computer. No. <laughs> to the FBI, no, thank you. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that that that, that matters. But uh, uh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked for it. I'm stoked for all the people we're going to meet and for the subjects that we get to talk about and for the excitement they seem to have. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Can I just talk to that last attempt to go do the show? Is that, you know, we, we've admitted we all have COVID. And, yeah. and Brian is at the point he's like, <laughs> I'm feeling better. I can still do the show. <laughs> I go, you are not going to go spread COVID amongst our federal government. Okay. Like do <laughs> not go do this. Well, this, that was, that was the thing. That, like, like you were not well yet. It, in that, in that, in that process, <laughs> it was so weird because we had a bunch of stuff and now, now I guess we can yeah. kind of tell the full story yeah. of, of what was yeah. happening, but was we good. were, we were going to Vegas because Brian was going to do Penn Sunday School. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we were going right from Vegas to uh, uh, another state in the Southwest where this other uh, uh, event was going to happen. That's what we were initially scheduled for. And so COVID happens Wednesday. We're supposed to leave, like, Friday or Saturday. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like we're we're like <laughs> testing and, and seeing how we feel, we're, blah, we're, blah, blah, blah. Like, this may be exaggeration, but it's like we're inventing like I th I think I read an article about ghost COVID positives <laughs> yeah. that aren't real. <laughs> so and also it was like it was it was very much a Homer with his ham flying yeah. uh, through the it's air. Still good. Yeah, it's still good. It's still good. It's good. Uh because uh, we were just like like, okay, all right. Uh, not Vegas. Vegas is scrap. We just go right to Arizona. As long as we start testing clean, like, and yeah, it was not going to happen. No. So, uh, uh, but it's happening now. Obviously, the Penn Sunday School stuff happened, and and those came out fantastic. I think you were you were amazing there, and and I think you're going to be great in uh, in Philly. 
That is the Oops. most. Or in where? No one knows. In our hearts and minds and everyone who joins us at patreon.com slash great night. Oh. It's a good place where you can support us. Have another keep topic, us okay. alive because otherwise we'll die. That's right. We'll die without your money. <laughs> We can't make a living farming, honey. So we give speech to the FBI in a city that I've already forgotten why. <laughs> but if you go to patreon.com slash great night, you'll get your own RSS feed and the bones. What are them bones? Them bones are a special program in every way superior to this one that we do once a week and it's better because we're sober <laughs> patreon.com first two <laughs> <laughs> second verse <laughs> uh bryce we have a game i did have a topic i wanted to talk about oh before. shit no no, no. Oh. what was your topic let's do the topic Bryce is an animal. Oh, yeah, an animal. Bryce, I, Jesus. I picked up a bad habit over the week, over the past week, I think. What is it? Dip? To do with Are you dipping? <laughs> no, I'm not dipping. No, we've all wanted dipping. to talk about it. We've seen it. I, uh, I've i talked uh, maybe last Big year or so before chew. about uh, <laughs> something that I would do with anime shows that I wasn't sure about was I would watch the first episode and then just watch the last episode. Okay. Just because... Wow, I, yeah, I, fuck I, it. I don't need to. Now I know what offended Brett looks like. No! <laughs> and, uh, I was like, did you do that with One Piece? <laughs> I've, I've, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, 1400 uh, episodes. <laughs> Jesus. Over the weekend, I was on H HBO and they had a movie I had not heard of. Wolf? Have you guys heard of this movie? Wolf? The oh. indie drama just sort of thing. Wolf. Wolf. Just I wolf. believe it's pronounced Woof in the movie. <laughs> wolf. And woof. I, I was. Woof. I, oh boy. I wasn't sure that what I was going to like. That's the tagline. Wolf. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Like, Ooh. Yeah? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. It's about a guy who goes to, uh, he thinks he's a he thinks he's a wolf. Yeah. He's got a uh, zo... So not a werewolf. No, he's a just human to, Just man. like, he's like, I'm I'm in the woods right now. And they're like, Doug, you're in your office. And he's like, no, I'm rooting around looking for grubs. <laughs> Yeah, basically. So he goes to like a psych hospital for people who have that. So what is it? Zo biology, zo zoology, uh, something, zo something like that. And um, and so I was like, I don't know. If I'm gonna like this. I don't want to watch 90 minutes of this. So I Cut just to the end tur turned it on and watched the last 15 minutes of it, and it was all I needed. <laughs> and I've been doing that with TV shows, with movies. Just I don't. I'm a pro spoiler. I just want to see the ending. You know, this is this is what this is what illiterate people do with books, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's illiterate not. People. Some people do yeah. that. Well, literally okay, people. but I'm, I mean, I'm literally, not blind. Literally. I know what's going on. Right. <laughs> but it's just, I don't, I don't, especially you, for long series, I don't want to sit through this whole thing on something you, I don't know. Or have there been times you watch the beginning and the end, you're like, huh, maybe I need to go back and watch the rest of it. The, the couple of times that that's happened, I've also felt like, oh, okay. No, I, I, I still managed to get it. So wait, so do you do it as like a proving ground where it's like, hey, if the beginning and the end is good, then maybe I'll go back and be right. interested in the rest of it? Or or is it just like, like fuck you, give me the juice. I kind of just the want rest to see the juice. Is pulp. Like, I kind of just want the juice. You just want the juice. I kind of just okay, want the juice. So what like happened, what now, happened now I mean, with, 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 with Wolf? Wait, now it, it doesn't sound fix. like you feel like this is a bad habit. It, it feels like, like you've just cracked the code for all media. I think I have because I watched that Wolf movie and I saw the, the last bit of it. Spoil it. Yeah, okay, I'll spoil, spoil it. it for everybody. So uh, spoilers for Wolf. Spoilers. When for is it released? Wolf. This year? Uh, earlier 22? this year. Yeah, in January, I believe. Okay. Wolf twenty two. I think there was another one with Jack Nicholson, wasn't it? Uh, well, Jack there was Nicholson a prequel where he was a teenager. <laughs> that was with Jason <laughs> Bateman. That was the second movie. Uh, yeah. So spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. it, uh, he ends up falling in love with a girl who thinks she's a wildcat. He gets locked in a cage. They have sex. She lets him out, but she gets cured of her thing. So she doesn't believe that she's a wildcat, but he's like, I'm still a wolf and I gotta, I gotta live my <laughs> Wait, life. So to a my wolf truth. and a wildcat. Fuck. Well, they're human beings, but well, yes. Yeah. yeah but, but, but even yes. then that's like, even if they were really animals, that's <laughs> fucked up. Right. <laughs> it would be a little strange. Yeah. So they're furries. No. Do wolves they, really fuck wildcats? Can somebody Google that can for me? Google like, because now I'm I'm into this idea. Maybe I know, use I know incognito. I know walruses fuck uh, penguins. 
What? Walrus is fuck penguins, or do they just use them as oh, their like, dick? Sea lions too, man. Yeah. Yeah, I Jesus. think it's more. I I don't know if I would say <laughs> I, there is consensual like on both parties. We well, I mean that's group. a that's a fuzzier line in the animal yeah. kingdom. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So you, just just and I felt like back to this. I felt like that that 15 minutes that I interacted with that film was the right amount of time. Okay. What? I'm thinking like it was like, the right amount of time. If you watch because the beginning of Evangelion and well, then watch the last 15 minutes, well, I wouldn't do that. you're going to have no idea what the hell just happened. Sure, but then I wouldn't do that. Hey, okay. Justin. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, you, ever, you ever clicked play on a video and it caught your interest right away? And then you skip forward and then suddenly you lost interest. Yes. Oh. Yes. So wait, are you Bryce's lawyer or like? I'm are describing you the pornography. Mm. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> well, my lawyer shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> for Bryce, sure. Bryce, you, you might need a new lawyer. <laughs> I might need a new lawyer. <laughs> and Bryce, I hope he's my not a goddamn wolf. Goes, Objection! I require new counsel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I I love it. Like I get in that first thing. It's like like uh, uh, oh yes, and the, the entire jury's like. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, I'm describing pornography. And they're like, what? What What if I'm not wearing a tie at all? (laughs) (laughs) But I think this is the future. I think this is the future. Skipping... Just I don't fucking know. skip to the end of talk. I mean, no, because that's made for the short format. What 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 he's saying is that you you should... That also, you, the way the way Bryce edits TikToks are masterpieces. He uh, he he has a yeah. middle in his three pieces <laughs> that he chops them into. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I I'm thinking about like let's take Frozen, and so you okay. got them talking about building a snowman, and then you have Big tears snow. and but to, but Frozen's a fine. known quantity. Like what's that? Frozen's a known quantity, right? Like. I'm either gonna know if I'm gonna want to watch Frozen or not. I didn't so, know if so, I so wanted you, to watch so this. So you're saying, so you're saying, basically, this is for the fringe element of our modern media landscape because so much yeah. shit comes out. It is just relentless the amount of media that is available for you on the streaming services alone, let alone other traditional uh, outlets. And you're saying for that specifically, if there's a thing that kind of catches your interest, what you should just is go ahead and skip to the price it. And, Bryce and go to the final 20 minutes yeah. and just see whether or not it is for you. Maybe I, you'll like it. Maybe you'll find like, oh, man, I would love to see what happened on that journey. Or yeah. maybe you won't and you just saved yourself maybe just an hour to two Two people hours. pretending to be different animals fucking in a cage and then the other lady saying, you've cured me of my wildcat disease. It was very weird of her to be like, you could just just fake being a human long enough and then you can go be a wolf and he was like no i've got to go and be a wolf i mean that would be really helpful for like bollywood movies that are you know like Two, that are like three, three hours, hours long. Like, they're all three hours long but it's and... but 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 it's, it's about the quantity right like bollywood movies you know what you're gonna see with the bollywood movie yeah. a disney frozen or pixar whatever you're like you're gonna know what you're gonna get with that i didn't know what i was gonna get with wolf okay uh uh so. It's called Bryce slicing, <laughs> and your kid might be doing it. Skipping to the final 20 minutes of a Netflix series or movie to see whether or not it's for them. I did I, it with another show this okay. weekend, and it, it was perfect. It was perfect. What is it called? The Im- the Imperfects is the name of the show. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And, uh, oh, my uh, gosh. Hi, uh, Guy Newman here. Uh, listen, uh, 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 it's so bad that uh, uh, kids don't remember the middle of things. Back to you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that now we have to make this episode really good in the final 20 minutes. This is true. Although huh? I do think... I think we should make the whole thing good, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're well, no, just no, going to now... skip it. No, you, you realize <laughs> now, yeah, now we have to readjust to our modern world of Bryce Slicers. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Slicers are running rampant now. The Pandora's box. Gen Z describes themselves as favorable to or am themselves a Bryce Slicer. Bryce Slicers, Slicers, skip around and see whether or not this story's for me. Promise myself I'll go back and watch. But I don't. But I don't. (laughs) There you go. I just always stop. I don't know. You needed to finish it. (laughs) <laughs> you you upset her because you didn't hit your tonic note. There was one more line that 
didn't happen. And then Bryce was looking at me like, no. And I'm like, what? no, but you didn't finish the song. So. Hey, Bryce, we got a game? Uh, we do have a game. Uh, it, uh, it's one of our classics. It's one of our favorites of all time. It's called Apologizes for. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the thing loaded up. Uh, we I feel are... like it's a game that became a virus that spread around news. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, oh, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a headline of uh, someone apologizing for something that they've done with a word or multiple words blanked out. You're going to have to give me what those blanks are, and whoever's closest, as determined by science, will get the point. You can ask for information. We do have information, but you do have to ask for it. Brett, would you like to play? I will play. Okay. Uh, and Bonnie, would you like to play? Uh, sure. Okay, we got Justin and Bonnie and Brian and Brett. Perfect. Well, we're going to start with this first one here. Uh, Justin, we're going to start with you. Yeah. The Bachelorette star Eric Schwer apologizes for blank photo from high school yearbook. Mm, mm, mm. Familiar with The Bachelorette? Uh, yeah, The Bachelorette is a program on the American Broadcasting uh, Company's okay. uh, network, and they have a, a young lady who was rejected publicly on another reality show now uh, inflict that being same told pain on other men. Uh, I'm being told by HQ that we've got it. Let's go straight to the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I pick you. <laughs> A you <laughs> The Bachelorette. What a beautiful <laughs> time. <laughs> Everybody loves each other when you're on The Bachelorette. We sing this song and it lasts 20 minutes. It's become a beloved institution. <laughs> it's like one shining moment for basketball, but for women aged 25 to 45. By Clorox strips. <laughs> Clorox strips, no! We change this for every time that we do the song. Bachelorette. Oh. You could have gone on for eight hours. I would have been happy. Oh, my God, that's so good. I think he, he used a... Prof uh, all right, so immediately, immediately it's like, all right, well, probably blackface, but no, because that probably doesn't make it into the, into the, into the yearbook. But if he does, like... Some kind of obscene. No, I'm gonna go Hitler mustache. He had a Hitler mustache. <laughs> I'm gonna go Hitler mustache. Yeah. All right, Bonnie. What do you think? Uh, the Bachelorette star Eric Schwer apologizes for blank photo from high school Seems yearbook. Seems like a Hitler mustache mm. name. For his lizard's fucking t-shirt. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, this would have been mid '90s. Yeah. Mid '90s. You got the '69. Yeah, you the got doggies, the doggies. Up against the, the missionary. Uh -huh. Both masturbating next to each other. <laughs> yeah. That one uh -huh. curiously absent. What? Oh. I didn't, wait, I didn't oh. notice. I, I didn't. Uh, On okay. the lizard's fucking t-shirt. Yeah. You clearly noticed. Let's let's find a few lizard fucking t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. So so <laughs> and uh, you, Brian? What yeah, you Brian, uh, the Bachelorette star. Eric Schwer apologizes for blank photo from high school yearbook. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh, it, it was because uh, he apologized for it. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, heart stopping. <laughs> I think that he looked so good. At least one person had a heart, heart attack and he apologized. Oh, wow. He His apologized heart for stopping killing photo. somebody. Okay. Brett, what do you think? Uh, the Bachelorette star Eric Schwerer apologizes for blank photo from uh, high school yearbook. I was, y'all said the uh, the lizard 69ing. It immediately made me think of the Big Johnson uh, t-shirts, but I don't think you would apologize for that. Instead, I think I'm going to go opposite of you, Brian. I'm going to say that it was an unattractive photo. Oh. 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 Sorry. I, I was, was too less ugly. Than hot <laughs> yes. back then. I was a real ugly duckling. I was an uggo back then. Yep. Uh, I was a real undesirable trash. I was a really <laughs> I belonged in a box at the bottom of Brushwood's dumpster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stuffed with Justin's boxes. <laughs> Underneath those. Yeah. All right. Well, you've Prima got... Nocta boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Not sloppy seconds nope. boxes. Nope. I couldn't even please you. Oh. <laughs> what? oh you were offended wow. by... No, I was literally just letting you know that I didn't fill up your entire fucking dumpster. Well, I was just... I what I And I still got shit for it. <laughs> I just, I just wanted you to have the pleasure of throwing them boxes into a clean. That I appreciate first. that, and I'm I appreciate right. that you offered it. Yeah. I mean, it's your right. It's not 
my right. I think it's your right. It's your right. It's you specifically yeah. your right. You're right. You're right. It is my right. <laughs> you're yeah. right. Yeah. I'm right. You're right. Yeah. Right. That's what happens when, when you're you right. Buy things. You're right. Yep. And you, you're always right. Yeah. All right. All right we got our answers here. Justin said uh, that Hitler the, mustache. The star apologized for the Hitler mustache. Bonnie said the lizard's fucking T-shirt. Yeah. Yep. I'm kidding. Yep. Still getting a link on that. Uh, <laughs> Brian said for the heart stopping photo, mm. and Brett said the unattractive photo. The heart starting photo. Yeah. <laughs> the heart starting. Oh. Photo. Oh. Oh. oh now God. that's something. All right. <laughs> All right. We were looking for. The Bachelorette star apologized for his blackface photo. Oh, wow. wow. This how, guy called it. And how elevated are all of us that none of us thought about that answer at all? Except for me. Aww. But then I didn't go with it because I thought, what, what kind of jackass school is letting blackface photos yeah. in the goddamn yearbook? Oh, only all of them. At that time time though well oh shit you want to know what oh i didn't think oh, of no, that is i, I, I didn't good. think of the sideline i was thinking more of like the official class portraits uh, yeah i oh. wasn't thinking of like the class activities because i'm sure that shit's probably still happening like some random ass high school in in uh, uh, uh some place where it's so, like so that that particular shot if you could throw it back up bryce uh, he was being lebron james where where they do the uh the color quotes and all that um uh, I, I I was one of those in high school. They're all like, uh, uh, complete this sentence. I would stop going to high school except dot, dot, dot. Except and blackface? Were you the blackface part of this? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, you were asking. Sorry, you were asking the question. I'm sorry. You just said yeah. you just said that that was me in high school. I, that's what I picked up yeah. on yeah. too. Yeah. 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 I was one of those pull quotes. Okay. You were and asked to pull your, quote in I, your response. Everybody was asked to write a response. Yeah. And I uh, jotted off, but where else could I get this much sleep? Didn't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then the yearbook comes out. Yeah. It's in there. Guess who's that guy walking up and down the halls like, where else could you get this much sleep, man? You tired? You just, <laughs> Oh, you were like you weren't like the cool guy for doing. That's a cool guy thing to do. I was too small to be the cool guy. I was the. You were, you were the they cool kept, they, guy. They kept, they kept trying to make you the cool guy, and you kept missing because you were I, too small. No. I was just like, <laughs> "Hey there, Mister." <laughs> they kept they kept they kept reaching for your crown, and then they were just like a foot above your head, and they're like, "Me." <laughs> <laughs> get out there. No, that was a re that's a really fucking. Uh, I don't know. I would I, love I, if that I, was. I thought my... it was an okay line. Yeah, that I, was I didn't a great expect line. to be made school famous for it. You know. It was... Oh, now you were school famous for it. Like, I, I, maybe you were just uncomfortable with what fame was. Well, it's a good thing I was because four years later, uh -huh. I met my wife, and she said, "You're so famous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me help you get some sleep." <laughs> What? That's your, what that we was call thing. It. It's a reference to oh. sexual intercourse. God damn it. No, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Next one. Next one. Uh, and his quote. All right. Bonnie. Yes. We're going to start with you on this okay. one. Okay. Apologize for it. <laughs> Brian is the Rudy of cool guys. Oh, what? what did you, <laughs> who got the oh, point? Justin got the point. Hitler must have. No, no, no one believed he could be the cool guy. <laughs> all right, Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. This cool guy team <laughs> like uh, doesn't doesn't let anybody else on. Oh, there's a walk-on cool guy, <laughs> and he keeps writing so hard like it's a goddamn Super Bowl commercial. What the fuck, man? <laughs> In the final play of the cool guy season, they let walk-on cool guy Brian Brushwood on for one play. Where else could I get this much sleep? Sleep, sleep, sleep. Brian, sleep. Brian, <laughs> Brian, Brian. <laughs> Everybody, we're going to start with you on this one. Only Notre Dame, by the way, would they have a gigantic <laughs> history of athletes and the one white guy get the fucking movie made out of him. Anyway, go ahead. Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. The yeah. MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. The headline is MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. This is from friends at thespun.com. Can uh, you use MLB in a sentence? <laughs> Major League Baseball. I can, oh, okay. I can give you some. <laughs> mm -hmm, I can give you some more information. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mid-level leveraged buyout. <laughs> uh, in response to their apology, uh, a person wrote, "Thank you at Nationals for reaching out and apologizing to hear that our experience that night was negatively impacted." MLB mm. team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. I see. Blank, blank, blank video. So we have three blanks. Yep, three words. 
for a video. Ooh, I, I'm not winning. I'm just trying to make it funny, right, Brian? That's what uh, you yep. said, right? So I won't Jesus. actually try to. <laughs> Christ, I cracked it. This is, <laughs> and this is a Sunday. I, I, Bonnie, I have more notes. I have more notes, Bonnie. MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. I, I don't know. I'm short circuited by baseball. Like, um, um, let me help you. Major take League. Me out to the ball <laughs> game. Take you don't get to join me in. Me out the to the ahead. crowd. Cubs win. Cubs win. Buy me some peanuts. I gotta say, anti-American propaganda video. For oh. <laughs> <laughs> its root, root, root for ISIS. If they don't win, it's a sin. Cause it's no, one. No, there's no end. No, we're gonna. No. Stop that. Because <laughs> it's I. Yes. No, it's just. Oh, okay. Hmm. Bucket, mistake, blow it out, cut it. <laughs> Brian, MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. Uh, 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 parody training rap video. Mm. Okay. What were they training? What's that? What were they training that they had to apologize for their training video? Uh, well, it was in the style of the Beastie Boys. So there were three dudes talking over each other. But it's like, when you throw the ball, you got to throw it right away. Everybody knows that the bases are gay. That's Jesus. <laughs> Jiminy. It was, uh, that's why they're apologizing. Christ, Christ, that, what that, are you not getting be, about this? That would this? be a hip-hop training video. <laughs> that would be a homophobic video. Well, yeah, that's why they're apologizing. Wait, unless it's woke. Is it woke for the bases to be gay? Eventually, no. if you didn't try to brice your way through it and only look at the <laughs> beginning of the yeah. end, you would find out yeah. that the bases are cool because they're gay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know the rules <laughs> anymore. I'm just an old man walking in my house coat. Not ready for this new normal. I know. <laughs> Brent. Hey, we're gonna go to you here. MLB MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. And I've got two. I have two that I'm trying to decide. And I have to pick one. Uh, or mix them together. <laughs> well, don't, don't take anti-American propaganda. That one's already taken. Yeah, that one, don't say <laughs> that. Or else I gotta do another parody baseball song. <laughs> right. Uh, I am gonna say hardcore porn. What? <laughs> All right, so the Washington Nationals, the yeah. Washington, D.C. Major Accident. League Baseball franchise. Yep. They're like, everybody, let's stand up for yep. the seventh inning stretch. Yep. And bah, double anal. Gush. Oh, yeah. double anal. <laughs> Talk about a stretch. A train being run. You see yeah. a train yeah. being run right yeah. there. Yeah. No, it's baseball. Yep. And, and it's like, on purpose. Oh, they don't was, know that it's much bad. Like what happens with Bryce? Whoop! Uh, that was well. The wrong I, I, <laughs> I've been covering baseball for 17 years, and I didn't know there was a sixth base. <laughs> 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 All right, Justin, you're the last one we're waiting on here. You know, sometimes I love to say things and watch Bryce's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Justin, we're looking for you. Your MLB team apologizes for blank, blank, blank video. T-shirt, gun, concussion. Oh. Oh, a T-shirt gun concussion video. Who got concussed? What? Somebody they're, they're, in the somebody in the in the in, in the in the crowd. Maybe the guy was like, eh, like woo, and he doesn't doesn't realize that is uh, the the barrels tipped a little too low. Yep. <laughs> bah, you're right. Right yeah. in the temple. So Clean out like it was Adrian Peterson getting clocked by Le'Veon Bell last Not night. Not apologizing for the T-shirts. Not no. apologizing for the T-shirt gun. Yeah. Not. a Apologizing for the concussion. No. Apologizing for the video. Yeah. <laughs> right. The video that has scarred so many people. Correct. Because okay. now they'll never be able to trust the t-shirt gun. <laughs> An American institution We've if done there ever was a one. A terrible disservice. Yeah. I think t-shirt guns everywhere. I think t-shirt gun control. <laughs> <laughs> I think that falls under my category then. I think it never anti-American? Yeah, because if they can't, True. they can't. Know. Uh, hey, Brett, what do you think? <laughs> well, I, I said hardcore mind. pornography. Yeah. We have everybody's oh, yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. We, I just wanted to hear it again. Yeah. <laughs> Hard, hardcore Six pornography. Base. Yes. Uh, all right, we have our answers here. Boy, I hate to be science right now. We're looking for the D. Justin said a t-shirt gun concussion video. Bonnie yep. said the anti-USA propaganda video. Jesus. Brian... <laughs> 
the the parody training rap video, and Brett said hardcore pornography. Okay. I think for the first time we all had equally awful answers. <laughs> <laughs> wait until wait until we see. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Nobody knows. What if one of us gets a point? All right. So your question was: MLB team apologizes for. Ball theft video. Oh. A ball theft video. Apparently, hmm. uh, actually, we can. Uh, this is actually a really good video. I, I didn't know that this was the one that they were talking about, but I did hmm. see this one. Oh yeah. Uh, let me see here. I've got it from. Uh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. So this was from the Nationals on the uh, on the first uh, on the first of the month here. So a little while ago, but uh, uh, here we go. You see. Wait here. Pause it here. Up. Oh. There we go. Uh, we got to the punchline, but but uh, uh, describe this, Brian. What 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 do you see? Uh, two adorable little girls. One of them holding up a catcher's mitt, or, or a, a, I guess an outfielder's mitt, uh, and and getting a, a baseball. Yeah, they they look like they're probably on a softball team, right? There's a bunch right. of them with their jerseys. with their uniforms on and stuff like that. So uh, uh, I guess it's either between innings or before the game. They they've got their mitt up, looking for uh, the outfielder to toss them the ball that they were warming up with, and. Oh, oh my god that is I mean, so crappy dude, dude, is there dude just slides on in there snags the shagged ball and then fucks right off just walks away not he, even sad you got you got okay. pigtails and cute little bouncy like energy and they're all like a team and then you got dumpy middle-aged dude just snag it and then he's just like sorry doesn't even look at he her. doesn't even like it he's just like doesn't Meh. Even look at him uh, well you, so you want to know what? On, on on initial <laughs> view it looked like he might have been actually kind of helping because the, the girls the mitt wasn't online but the more you watch it no he definitely just picked that one off he just stepped yeah. right in front of her I mean, and, and, and then and, doesn't give the ball to her and to be honest if there's anything to apologize for it's this video being a walking stereotype of male sports culture mm. yeah. Yep. yeah yeah uh, apparently uh, they sent that'll bullshit. that'll teach him male yeah. sports culture that'll got him Apparently they, they now, did send a sign. Cool. Now all those girls play soccer. Screw you guys. What, what yeah. are we going to do? We're going to have science figure this one out? Yeah, I'm going to uh, put this into the science machine here and <laughs> figure out who's closest. Beep. It's pretty anti-American, if you ask. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know. I know. You kind of seems beep, like, like beep, if there look, was look, a look concussion like, uh, with a the t-shirt. <laughs> they were all wearing t-shirts. <laughs> and then so, they might get concussions Are you at some saying point. that it's un-American because he snagged the ball or because the girls thought that they would get the ball? That outfielder had a gun. Right? <laughs> they do give it. outfielders guns yeah, now. They give them. They give them dude, dude when you chooch. walk in. A chooch. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a Justin Paul. Hey! Here we go. Hey! You got two. Uh -oh. Lon makes for the chat. This is the world libertarians want. <laughs> 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 the Somalia of sports. Yep. <laughs> Baseball. This is basically like a snow <laughs> crash explained in three seconds. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do uh, another round. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Finally. Finally. <laughs> uh, ooh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that here. Okay, here we go. Brian, uh, this is for you. Influencer Ollie London apologizes for undergoing operations to appear like blank, blank, blank. Influencer. Influencer Ollie London uh, apologizes hey, for... Can I ask for just how many followers Ollie London has and on what platform? Uh, y yes. Uh... He, uh, he, he is very popular, I believe. Uh, his Wikipedia page, or excuse me, his uh, Instagram account has uh, 668,000 followers. Okay. Oh, uh, and I, I might have gotten their gender wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, influencer Ollie London apologizes for undergoing operations. Wait, what like, is like, the like, gender? I, I think they may be they. I'm, I'm are not they a, them? Are they them. Uh, gotcha. Operations to appear like blank, blank, blank. We do have some info of you if you'd like. Uh, yes, oh, I would info. like info. Ali said, I really tried to model myself on that person because I thought that would make me happy. Mm. Influencer Ali London apologized for undergoing operations to appear like blank, blank, blank. Three words. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking Justin Robert Young. And I'll, I'll even, I'll even yeah. give you that it is not a three-word name. Oh, oh okay. it's not a three-word name. It is not a three-word name. Mm. It is not Justin Robert Young. Is it okay if I still say Michael J. Fox at the end of this? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, 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 Brian, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, anti-American propaganda. <laughs> now you see where I'm yep. coming from. All right. Yeah. Yep. That's it. 
<laughs> Sometimes you just go for opposite. <laughs> Doc, I need you to make me look like Isis Sam. <laughs> Fuck me, Isis <laughs> Sam. I need to look like Isis <laughs> Sam. Yeah, it's way funnier than the reaction it got. <laughs> I hope everybody is laughing so hard in their car and they crash. Somebody crashes hearing Isis Sam. Oh. All right. So Brian said he still has a beard. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, like Uncle Sam. But he's yeah. ISIS, Sam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forget what day is today. Brett, <laughs> Brett please. Influencer <laughs> Ollie <God>. London <laughs> apologizes. money you got? I'm going to fucking take the money. Go. Influencer Ollie London apologizes. Brian Agar, operations to look like blank, blank, blank. Uh, female James Vanderbeek. <laughs> A female James Vanderbeek. What, what does James Vanderbeek look like? Uh, he looks like a male James Vanderbeek. Would he pass for an ISIS, Sam? <laughs> no, he would not. Oh, okay. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> but we loved him. Don't trust the B. And uh, there he is. This is okay. Interesting. He's Dawson, right? Yeah. Dawson. Oh, he's Dawson. 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 Oh, okay. Dawson. Dawson. Ah. Okay. Uh, all right. So Brett said. Uh, I Dawson. said that because it's fun. <laughs> Justin, influencer Ollie London, apologizes for undergoing operations to look like blink, blink, blink. Who would he apologize to? The doctor? To to. He apologized to his fans. To his, his bank fans account. Got mad. Mm. His apologize to his fans korean black person <laughs> you say korean black person yeah are there many? probably not a lot of those I mean, he, to appear <laughs> like a korean i mean i don't know like okay. that's if you can have surgery to look like whatever you whatever you want then that's what he wanted to do brian's taking a knee i know like i don't think that's when you're supposed to <laughs> Brian, i don't know if he's protesting if he's Colin Kaepernick <laughs> protesting my answer the window, but brian me. is i mean this is the first time that we've done the show on a football sunday and brian <laughs> and brian at, at about halftime is is taking a knee it's <laughs> true all right, Bonnie, you're the one. Bring us home, Bonnie. <laughs> Influencer Ollie London apologizes for undergoing operations to appear like blank, blank, blank. A Ken Barbie doll. A Ken Ooh. Barbie doll. Yeah. Said like like the way that you would read the category in a wholesale pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here are Ken Barbie dolls. <laughs> A uh, 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 piece get that, you get that one on one Alibaba. one 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 five six. Yeah, you get that on Alibaba. Tony Stark, Ken Barbie doll, sixty <laughs> percent <laughs> off. All right, we've got your answers in here. Justin said, uh, "Operation to look like a Korean black person." Bonnie said, "A Ken Barbie doll." Brian said, "Anti-American <laughs> propaganda," and Brett said, "A female James Vanderbeek, <laughs> aka Dawson." All right, we were looking for. Influencer Ollie London apologizing for undergoing operations to appear like BTS star Jimin. Hey! I think does you that mean win? I I mean sort of. I got I got I got he one got of them. Closer. There's one direct hit. That's definitely yeah. a Justin point. That's easy. I don't need to go to yeah. science on that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good guesses all around though. Congrats, Justin. Is he one of the ones that raps? I think so. On BTS? BTS is a few of the rappers. They rap. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. I'm going to type in Jimin. But I don't know the name. Tom Merritt would know. He would know. Yeah. Uh, I think he's just a singer. I think he's just, a singer. He's and just dancer. one of the singers. He's not one of the ones that he's raps. Not just a singer. Mm. Not one of the BTS singer rappers. BTS. Yeah. yeah. That is, that's my quick understanding. All right, Brett, uh, we want to go to you? Yeah. We, uh, and uh, you want to do scores? Sure. What are the scores? The scores are uh, Brett, Brian, and Bonnie. We all got goose eggs. Ooh. We apologize Ooh. for having no points. In the hardcore True. photography. And Justin, you have three points. Oh, shit. Three oh, points. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You got it. Coming to play on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The big game. Let's oh, go with the big game. Are you ready for some game. rice slicing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're cutting right to the final five <laughs> minutes <laughs> of the fourth final quarter. Five, that's the game, folks. <laughs> 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 I watched, brought to you by Bryce Slices. I watched the F1 race today on a one-hour delay, so I could skip if there were any stoppages. <laughs> and I didn't need to. All right, uh, fourth fourth question here. Brett, we're going to start with you on this one. All righty. Uh, Brett, your question is, Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image blank, 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 blank 
on social media. Frisco ISD is the uh, ISDs are the uh, Texas school independent districts. school oh, Frisco, districts, like, yeah. uh, like near uh, Dallas. In Dallas, <clears throat> right. uh, one of the wealthiest uh, concentrations yeah. uh, in all of Texas. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Frisco I, ISD apologized for sharing an image blank, 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 blank on social media, blank, Brett. Blank, four words. Four words on this one. Uh, an image. Would you like some information? Yes. We sincerious. Oh, excuse me. We, yes! we sincerious. We sincerious. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for gathering here. We like to apologize because we insincerously <laughs> just fucked up that word. <laughs> <laughs> We sincerely apologize for resharing the inaccurate post. We were attempting to respond quickly with what we believed to be true information. In the future, we will verify such posts from other district accounts prior to resharing them. Brett Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image blank, 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 blank on social media. Um, mm. I, I, I want to say it's something to do with masks. Like inaccurate or... Uh, Just give me four words about masks. Say Go. masks. Masks, 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 masks. Of, of uh, ineffective, mm -hmm. ineffective mask usage. Okay. There you go. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> That's four words. Ineffective now. mask I'm, 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 usage. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Justin Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image blank, 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 blank on social media. Gun. Juggling musical <laughs> dot 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 blackface. <laughs> all right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, right. I, I, I think Justin broke the game. You get points he for being realized. You get points for being specific. One of the words. Close. I'm here to win. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be up on 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 the the the, the top of this uh, heap when Bryce slicing time happens. <laughs> It's like, welcome to Great Night. Anyway, congrats to our winner, Justin. Hey! And you're like, in the show now. In the show now. It's for unknown knows. quantities. Frisco, I, uh, Bonnie, we're going to you now. Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image. Blank, 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 blank on social media. I also think mine is realistic. Gun juggling musical blackface? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's high school, after all. Or we, know, we don't know if it's We high don't school. know. It's Frisco ISD. Maybe they're, I don't know, into that shit. <laughs> Maybe they're into it. Bonnie. I've only been in Texas for a year and a half. <laughs> I'm going to say screaming mom crying senior oh. on social media. That seems like some shit that happens a lot. A screaming mom crying senior, like a senior student, like a senior, senior grade? Senior student, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Brian, yeah. Uh, your uh, last uh, what, not What least. was their comment? One more Who time? built this dumpster? We sincerely. <laughs> I almost said it again. Seriously. <laughs> it's Sunday, so I have to sin seriously. <laughs> we sincerely apologize for resharing the inaccurate Wait, David, post. You said sincerely again. And, yeah. No. It, <laughs> just what he said. Sincerely. We sincerely. Serially. Sincerely, yeah, like we sincerely, <laughs> sincerely, sincerely, we cinnamon apologize for we we sincerely we insincerely <laughs> bright slice in this house. We, we believe in science and sincerely. In this house, we believe in sincerely. We bright slice. <laughs> we think that we believe in uh, moons and pegasi. <laughs> we believe in fourth meal and wolves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I knew he wolf. wasn't a wolf. He wasn't a wolf. Wolf. Brian, we're going to you. Frisco, I see you apologize for sharing. Oh, yes. We sincerely see. <laughs> 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 Uh, so he broke Bryce's brain, <laughs> and he can't think right. When you're done with <laughs> when you wolves all are done of his with the brain sure cells it the <laughs> da, 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 have been built and burnt in a fire. Because we gaslit our producer <laughs> da, 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 da. until he said fucked up shit. <laughs> da, 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 da. Shouldn't you have done this Monday? <laughs> da, 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 da. Now I'm taking it out on you. <laughs> da, da, 
Because you made me work on a Sunday. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, and now you ba, da, pay bum, the price. Bum, ba, da, bum, now bum, you ba, da, should go to bum, sleep when bum, ba, da, bum, you say don't do bum, that ba, da, again, bum. Bryce. There you go. Yeah. You know the Bro, worst part? <laughs> Bryce that never saw that. <laughs> Skip right Skip over right it. Past yeah. it. Uh, right past it. Right past it. That's we, the content you're missing right now. We jump now. to the end where we were friends again. <laughs> we said seriously. Oh, I said it again. Uh, we apologize for sharing inaccurate posts. We were attempting to respond quickly with what we believe to be true information. In the future, we will verify such posts from other district accounts prior to resharing them. Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image blank, 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 blank on social media. Brian, you're last but not least. Revealing, revealing another school's budget. Oh, okay. Reve- uh, another mm-hmm. school's budget. What was it? Honor- high or low? No, yeah, no. It's four. It's four words. Revealing another. Revealing another school's budget. Okay, God, there we go. Yeah, you're right. I if you know, can't count number. up to four, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I've never seen Bryce join in a Brian oh, bit yeah. after. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> All right, we've got your answers in here. If you don't remember them, Justin said a gun juggling and musical blackface <laughs> on social media. Bonnie said a... You got to cover all your bases. <laughs> Bonnie said a screaming mom crying senior on social media. Brian said for revealing another school's budget. And Brett said an ineffective... Ma- for ineffective mask usage. Hooray. <laughs> hooray. Hooray. I forgot about the hooray. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We were looking for... The Frisco ISD apologizes for sharing an image with a sex toy oh, on uh, social media. Very juggleable. You know what? I take everything back. That was sin sensitive. <laughs> sin sensitive. Well, at least we know there's only two people who are going to get a point. There's only going to be. All right, I'm going to put this in the science machine and uh, see how it comes out. Shh. Beep, beep. What, what do you think sex toy wise? Was it was it a, 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 a dildo plug? or a butt a plug? plug? Yeah, but. Was, was it just an, the actual vegetable, a cucumber? Boop, boop. Zucchini? Well, I mean, that you wouldn't be able to get in trouble for that unless it was like half inserted. They showed a baseball bat. I think it's a butt plug. You think a butt plug? Yep. Or probably a vibrator. Basketball? I, I think something like that. A bat. A basketball. <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice. Basketball. Jesus. Oh my God. Especially during football season. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Shh. Oh, it's got a lot of chings in here. Ching, 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 ching. All right. All right, there we go. That's going to be a Brian point. All right, it's our final round of the game here. Going to wrap it up with one more. And this is for 10 points. Uh-oh, so it's still anybody's game. Uh, we've got so just- we don't get to find out what it actually was, just oh. that I won. <laughs> oh yeah, no, here, sorry, sorry. This is a uh, this is the picture that they uh, retweeted. It's self love oh, reminder. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, and I... uh, you can see there is a a, a, a toy yeah. on the bed. Oh, that's not her foot. I no, know, that's it not looks a foot. Like her foot. It does kind of look I like. I wonder foot. why it, it passed the screen. So somebody saw that and was like, "Oh, we need to post this on the school." Although that that also feels like an all like thought you were posting to your. Main and then you're posting on the work account kind of thing. Uh, it, yeah, because they retweeted this from another account. Yeah, and so they saw self love and must have just thought self care. Oh, that's not. Yeah, it. yeah, and it does look like it's the same color as her socks. Or as her socks. Yeah, so I mean, toys like, can help. Her fist. Just yeah. pointing that out. Yeah, this is true. Almost gun sized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna make it happen. It's, it's, no, science no. already ruled. It already ruled. Yeah. yeah. All right. Came down. <sighs> kind of like Came juggling. Kind of like juggling. All right. The score. It's all in the wrist. Going into our final round. Justin's got three points. Bonnie's got one. Brian and Brett still waiting to get that first point. Wait, yep. I, got I sure point. am. Despite having no, won Brian that round, I, Bonnie, I'm waiting for my points. points. No, I got zero. It, oh, it's points. coming in the mail. <laughs> it's true. Wait, it'll be there. Who did I get the point? Brian won that point. Brian got the point. 
One point to Brian. I didn't say that. You yeah, did. You did. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right, Brian get... gets the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Don't everybody okay. don't go clip that. Don't clip that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't don't immediately show proof that he said seriously. Right. Said seriously. <laughs> seriously. All right. Well, th- so excuse me. Then Brian's got one point. Bonnie and Brett are waiting to get that first point. This is yep. a ten point round. Hey, it came in the mail. Whoa. It took Thanks, four to six fan. hours. Yeah. What Our final round. Toy? We're gonna start with Justin on this one. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Because right, you got to defend your. Lead. Let's go, Los Gates. Country Club apologizes for appalling 9-11 themed blank menu. Ooh. Ooh, I believe. Oh my god. I believe in you, Justin. I believe you got this. Country Club apologizes for Restaur- appalling. Clubhouse? Clubhouse. Clubhouse menu. Ooh, Clubhouse what a menu. good answer. Okay. Bonnie, what do you think? Dessert menu. Twin Tower Parfaits. Wow. Okay. Uh, Brian? <laughs> Brian, what do you think it is? Just describe in your head everything that you're thinking. <laughs> just whatever is going on in your head right now, just let it fly out your mouth. Take that filter and throw it on the ground. Stop it. He has filter Just go. Blah, 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 blah. Everything <laughs> in your head. Let it tumble on out. <laughs> tumble on out. You got this, Brian. Just, just I know those those ideas, man. They're like like a like a like a bull at a rodeo. You can beat Yank, this, brother. You got we're this. We're going. You got this. What, country club. What, uh, country club appalling 9/11 themed blank, blank menu. What? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Say it again. Yeah, I, I'm asking. Country it, club it, apologizes for appalling 9/11 themed blank menu. I don't understand. What do those numbers mean? My, uh, uh, we have some information here. Uh, uh, in, an, in an apology posted. Uh, it included, my attention was to bring attention. Yeah, that's what he said. My attention was to bring attention to that horrific day 21 days ago. 21 years ago. God almighty. <laughs> to honor those who lost so much as well as those who gave everything that day. We will have a new theme tomorrow. Country Club apologizes for appalling 9-11 themed blank menu. Who called it appalling? The uh, the folks over at the Daily Beast. Oh. Uh, and maybe some of the comment. Users. Trump. Yeah. And Trump. And Trump's probably a lot. No, of that's my answer. Trump. Oh, the 9 11 themed Trump menu. Trump menu. Yeah. All right. Ooh. There we go. Are you ready to make America great again? Well, look at this menu. I deeply regret my life. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, we're going to you for the final round. Last but not least, Brett Weaver, a country club, has apologized for an appalling 9 11 themed blank menu. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, immediately when Bonnie said dessert, I was thinking baked Alaskan. And I thought, well, that's kind of rude. Uh, so I will say. That's more 2008. Well, it's, yeah. Uh, appalling 9 11 themed blank menu. I just want to say dinner menu. Just just a dinner menu. Just say it, man. Yeah. Dinner just say it. it. Just say it. it. Just, just say it. it. Just say what's ever on D- your mind. Dinner menu. Dinner yeah. dinner menu. Yeah. Yeah. Dinner menu. Double dinner. Yeah. All the way. Dinner. Yeah. Menu, man. Yeah. And that means that there are multiple items that are. Yeah. Like, what would some of those items be? Uh, I don't think that's our job to come. It's not up. our <laughs> job. It's not our job. That's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've got our answers here. We've got um. Oh, four very that's, safe. That's a answers. brand new form of improv called <laughs> "Nice Try." <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of yes and. How about "Nice, nice Try"? try. <laughs> All right. We've got your answers here. Justin said a clubhouse menu. Bonnie said a dessert menu. Brian said a Trump menu. Yep. And Brett said a dinner menu. Yes. Some very. Some very Broad answers here, but that's what we've got. Jesus, some of this oh, shit in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <God. laughs> Holy if you were, shit. If you were ever Holy shit. to like pop into Twitch, you know, and see us live. Just very, oh boy. There's a lot of stuff that happens. Oh my God. Some and we of, don't write it. Some of <laughs> Next week, next week, I'll still be laughing. <laughs> yep. Some of the items. Not today. Some of the items. That they were offering. Oh, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yep. Included the Remember Teeny. This a is for real. That's Flight honest. 93 redirect hot crab dip with crostini. <laughs> and a 2977 chowder because it was their appalling 9 11 themed uh, seafood menu. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that it was all. 
all seafood. I had no idea. Hey, hey Brian, how much money you got in your wallet? <laughs> all right. With <laughs> his answer of <sighs> dinner, Brett is our hey, winner. Hey! Ten points! Congratulations to Brad. I just want to thank God. thank God. I want to thank Tom Landry. Landry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank football in general. I'd like to thank female <laughs> James Vanderbeek. If you've got a, <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a game, I want to thank you. ISIS Sam. <laughs> ISIS Sam, thank you. I want you. Uh, thank you to. Uh, uh, I want to thank Long COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If you've got a game, send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail dot com, or in Please the show notes do. wherever you are watching or enjoying this Please program. Do. Thank you. Hey Brett, uh, what did we learn today? Well. <laughs> Brett, what have we remembered today? Well, we remembered that today is a very important oh, day because it was the day night. I got to come back from Mexico, Huzzah. be with my friends, repatriate. Uh, we'll always remember my father for the good work he did and the jokes he wanted uh-huh. to make here that I told him not to do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we've learned that uh, sinceriously that Bryce is working on his words. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will remember I need to personally apologize to Bryce after the yeah. show. <laughs> and and uh, that uh, Justin uh, can do wrong things and right things all at the same time. Mm. Brian. Uh, dude, it's been sincerely a great afternoon. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Still a great afternoon. We love you! You keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bed, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, greater Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs>